the YSL Rico trial is not going the way the police hoped it would. It would just be announced today. Breaking, lawyers for YSL rapper Young Thug are looking into ways of a mistrial. The prosecutors are not making valid points to keep Young Thug inside of jail, as today would be a drastic change to the entire YSL Rico trial. A man named Adrian Bean was on the stand, and in a report that reads, Keep in mind, unlike Trontavia Stevens, Adrian Bean is not bound by a plea deal. He was a part of the 2013 crime where four people were involved, but one escaped and was never caught. They need Bean to snitch on Young Thug on the stand like he did with the police in 2013. However, he refuses. As Adrian Bean originally snitched on Young Thug in 2013, he was supposed to be sitting in jail for several years, but he snitched out of it, gave the police all the information they needed on Young Thug. However, the police has now taken over a decade to start the Rico takedown of Atlanta, meaning that the feds now need Adrian to snitch on Young Thug again, or or else all of that evidence doesn't matter anymore. But Adrian has now allegedly forgot about the crime. After you answer the question, what you have to do. Because I don't remember none, nothing that happened in 2013. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I understand. What I have to do is um, ask you some questions and determine what you do and don't remember. So what is your response as to whether or not you recognize the images shown in Defendant's Exhibit Number 8? I don't remember. All right. And I'm going to show you Defendant's Exhibit Number 81. Do you recognize what's shown there? No, ma'am. All right. What about Number 101 for Defendant Exhibits? You see a car, but I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Is your answer the same for Defendant's Exhibit Number 82, Number 89, and Defendant's Exhibit 90? Yes, ma'am. Lots can happen within 11 years, as the crime occurred in 2013. Sources do claim that maybe YSL members could have paid Adrian off to not snitch, but others believe that he actually did forget about the crime. Adrian Bean has gone through a lot within the last 11 years. From battling with narcotic issues to being in prison, he would end up saying why he forgot. I really don't have any knowledge about 2013, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. I don't really have any knowledge about 2013. Once I have went to prison and came home from prison and done my time, everything that happened in 2013 or whatever has been put behind me and set forth. So I've been, you know, working and just doing my thing since I came home from prison. I don't have no knowledge of nothing that happened 10 years ago. This has really upset the prosecutors because they're really running out of evidence against Young Thug. This has now led into the prosecutors having to bring out evidence they were not supposed to release for another few weeks. They have no choice to because the jury are really making it seem like they believe Thug is innocent. In a report that reads, Young Thug was named as an alleged firearm man in a 2013 incident during a 911 call during the YSL Rico trial today. Okay, so, so who was... I have no idea, baby. I, I promise you, I can't tell y'all that. I don't know. All that I know, she came, around, she came to my house and told me that the guy that shot that my name, Young Thug, what it's supposed to be. Somebody named the this guy is in her house. So I don't know how y'all can do that. I'm trying to go out the house, but she wants the phone now. Okay. All right. As they were originally hoping to save this evidence against Thug for another few weeks because this is their best evidence that they have. However, Thug's lawyer is making him look extremely innocent. The state's best investigator against young Thug has been following him for 10 years and he has nothing. As Brian Steele had a hunch, the investigator has done no investigating at all and he would expose him in front of everyone, including the judge. Okay. Now, I'm assuming, I don't want to assume, you went through that entire Tumblr account to educate yourself for your testimony for the jurors, am I correct? No, sir, this is the only post from this Tumblr account that I've reviewed. You didn't look at all of Mr. Williams' Tumblr accounts? No, sir. How did you know to review this one picture? Well, um, when the state asked me to review these particular tweets, this is one that was linked within one of the tweets I was asked to review, and I was asked to review this post from that link. You weren't curious to know what else is on that Tumblr account? Um, I, I was not, no. Well, since you come back, I'm inviting you to look at it if you want to. But every one of those posts has to do with music. Do you realize that? Objection, here, sir. 
However, what really won the jury over on believing Thug is innocent is what Thug's lawyer would do next. He would end up challenging the investigator to go home, do more research on young Thug, and then return to court with an answer. Do you know, as you sit here, what the all the other Tumblr posts deal with? Objection. Basis. It'll be speculation because he said he has not received. A standing objection. You do me a favor. If you come back, which I'll call you if you need. I want you to review all that Tumblr, okay? Sure. Tumblr count. And then we'll, you tell the jurors everything else that's on that Tumblr account, okay? Sure. And tell them if it has anything other than music oriented promotion, okay? Well, I would say even this photo has more than just music promotion. That's great. If you understand the court system, Thug's lawyer doing that in a court setting is absolutely unbelievable. It really makes the entire police department look like a joke, having their main investigator at 10 years not even doing his job of investigating. The judge would end up asking the investigator if he even knows what he is doing. He would end up going on to expose two rappers in the industry for having street ties connected to Young Thug. This is where everything gets concerning, as he would first go on to expose Lil Wayne's affiliation to the same street team as Young Thug. And and are you familiar with who this individual is? I am. And who is that? It's uh, Dwayne Carter. Okay. And does he have another name that he goes by? He does. And what is it? Lil Wayne. And are you aware, um, do any of your non-trans experience, if Mr. Um, Carter, Dwayne Carter, identif self-identifies as a member of... I believe that he does. Okay. Tell the jury if you need to stand with the stick and point to what those identifiers are within Defense Exhibit 31. There's a large MOB across his chest, um, often used particularly by West Coast, but um, is used across the country. Um, he has five um, red five-point stars across his chest. As the investigator is trying to prove to the jury that rappers do have street affiliations, the second rapper you'd expose would be YNW Melly, as the two rappers of Thug and Melly were involved in a Facebook post where they are both claiming to be a part of a street team. Same thing, the use of the uh, slap term, five-point star, snake. Uh, he's saying he's YSL, he's saying he's Thug. And uh, he puts up his YNW uh, for life hashtag on it with the five point star as well. Mr. Demons has you know, big B hand signs posted, uh, displayed. Okay, and see the individuals again. I'm assuming that's also the young thug. That's also kind of known. Yes. Also important to your investigation, correct? Yes. Also publicly available for anyone to see As this would end up revealing that Melly's team YNW has street ties connected to Young Thug's team YSL. As on top of that evidence, he would also go on to share very old music videos that Young Thug has recorded where he is throwing up team signs, practically self snitching. <laughs> Um, did you see Mr. Williams putting up any identifying signs within that first few seconds of the video? I did. And what was he doing? He was throwing the uh, bees again, the two guys, and he also uh, threw a five-point star. I'm um, in that particular portion at 1.30. Do you see Mr. Williams throwing up any... Um, I did. And what did he throw up? He threw up the... Two again. Why this is important is because of the crimes that Young Thug was allegedly a part of were at the exact same time that these old music videos were recorded. So him throwing up team hand signs confirms that he is a part of a street team. They showcase several music videos from Thug throwing up these hand signs. But things would get even more real as the evidence that was shared would be confirmed by the investigator that there has been self-snitching several times on social media about the hand signs. Now have you had the occasion to view any videos with Mr. Williams in which he either himself self-identifies or associates himself either as a member of Rock Crew and or a member of YSL. I have. Um, how many videos have you seen? 
Um, I don't know the exact number, but, but a few. Okay. For the purposes of this testimony today, have you um, seen three specific videos as it relates to this testimony today? I have. Believe it or not, this evidence is the only evidence right now stopping the mistrial. As we all know how corrupt the court system is in the United States, this is exactly why Boosie said about YNW Melly that when the feds want you, they'll do anything to get you. Now they're putting you more charges on them and then... Um... When they want you, they want you. I knew that. I knew they wanted them bad when they waited for that law to get passed. They waited oh, so all the way. The penalty. So it'd be 8-4. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, they waited all the way to that law got passed to take him to trial. Yeah, he was in jail for what, two years, three years? Yeah. They could have been took you to trial. You're right. They waited till that law got passed and took him to trial a couple months later. When they want you, they want you, man. Uh, just don't see how he, he didn't get a bond after a fucking mistrial. Yeah. That made me like, God damn. Yeah. Like after a mistrial, that doesn't that that doesn't happen really. This entire situation of not getting a mistrial yet due to old music videos is outraging many rappers in the music industry. However, their reactions are also causing their names to get investigated by the law officials. As it would be reported, the state's team expert in the Young Thug trial interrupted Thug's lawyer to tell the jury the album cover for the collab tape with Future, titled Super Slimy, was actually meant to taunt rival street teams. In reality, the album cover just shows the symbols of YSL and FBG. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Steele, to the extent that you're asking for context of these, I do have additional context that may um, be helpful as far as these particular tweets, okay? So the, the tweet on the left-hand side, so we pull that back up. So this particular um, image was of note to myself and other investigators, particularly during this time period. Um, their rival in ABG has a Hulk logo that they use on their own clothing and identifiers. As you can see on the cover of this, there's a hawk skull with a snake, the symbol for YSL, climbing through the eyes of this um, skull of a hawk. As this would end up leading to reporters telling rappers to stop reacting to Thug's trial, so then they do not get investigated. However, all of these rappers are best friends with Young Thug, and many of them wouldn't even be here without him. So they would end up calling Brian Steele, giving them their blessings to bring up their rap name and music inside of the courtroom to get Young Thug released from jail. As Thug's lawyer Brian Steele would then go down a line, shouting out rappers and their songs that replace the letter C with the letter B. Post Malone, do you know who Post Malone is? I know who he is. Have you heard him do that? I have not. Okay. Meek Mill, you know who that artist is? I do. Have you know that? No, sir. Um, are you familiar with the song Jumped Out the Face by Meek Mill? I'm not. And Post Malone, you are familiar with the song No. Are you familiar with Juice World? I know who he is. Are you familiar with, um, instead of cooling, cooling, B O O? L I N. You familiar with that song? I'm uh, not. Okay. Um, Trippy Red, you know who that is? I know of him. And um, do you know the song Bust Down Again, Booling Rather Than Cooling? Y W N Melly, you know that rapper? I do. The song Till the End? I don't. Um, Future, you know who that is? I do. Um, absolutely going blazy, you know that? This really helps Young Thug in the end. It shows the jury you do not need to be a part of a street team to avoid using the letter C in your music titles, and that it's more of a music style for a viewer's attention. However, what do you think? Will Thug beat this case? Let me know down in the comments.